वेलकम टू टॉप क्रू एविएशन दिस इज योर कैप्टन पी के यादव नाउ वी वुड डिस्कस अबाउट आइटम नंबर 10 व्हिच इज फॉर इक्विपमेंट द कम्युनिकेशन नेविगेशन एसएसआर इक्विपमेंट ऑन बोर्ड एंड इट्स सर्विसेबिलिटी मस्ट बी इंसर्टेड बाय एडिंग द अप्रोप्रिएट सफिक्सेस गाइस द फर्स्ट सफिक्स will denote the communication navigation equipment followed by an oblique stroke and another suffix to denote the ssr equipment options for communication and navigation equipment are n if no communication navigation approach it equipment for the route to be flown is carried or the equipment is unserviceable we would always have to mention n as in november as if standard communication navigation approach aid equipment for the route to be flown is available and make sure it is serviceable note guys standard equipment is considered to be vhfrt vor and ils unless another combination is prescribed by aviation authority local regulations guys uh, we have observed in flying uh, i would say like uh, in training as well as in airlines many pilots use s even though they do not have all the elements of a standard present and certified for example no ils this is a serious mistake guys don't do this if you are in such situation list all your equipment with the letters given below it is important in terms of flying not for your exam purpose if none of the above options apply or the aircraft has more equipment than indicated by as insert one or more of the following letters to indicate the communication navigation approach aid equipment available and serviceable communication navigation equipment only the codes most often encountered by general aviation codes are given for complete list refer to acau documents just for an example like for lorin c we mention charlie for dme delta adf fox trot hfrt hotel inertial navigation india microwave landing system kilo ils lima vor oscar tekken tango all right and so on so you can refer list of a cow if you want to like learn all the codes if you want to have a look uh, and go through with all the codes guys zulu we mention if we have something new which is not covered under a cow list the next is surveillance equipment that is like ssr which we would mention after oblic so here insert one or two of the following letters to describe the serviceable ssr n when none there is no transponder a transponder mode a that is for code only indication c transponder mode a and mode c code and altitude indication for example aircraft with vhf only and no transponder we have to insert v oblique n aircraft with vhf vor adf ils dme hf mode a and c transponder insert s d h oblique charlie that is for c transponder remember to add oblique stroke between communication navigation equipment codes and ssr equipment code so like item number 10 is uh, not that much important for exam point of view but uh, we should know as a flyer as we all would be using this ecau flight plan so we should know how to fill it and uh, uh, what are the meanings and uh, what are the terminology and what if somebody has uh, given you 
any you know filed flight plan so how we can read it all right guys so that's it for item number 10 here you go your checklist like subscribe and share